Hey there, this is Dr. Tall Paul Simon, psychiatrist, coming at you from my little home office with Sleepy Time Joe here, my buddy. Um, wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, stopping and starting psych meds. Um, it's something that comes up pretty often, people stopping and starting medications on their own. Now, I'm not here to offer you specifically medical advice, but just talking about general principles. Before I get started, please subscribe to the channel here. Um, and that'll help me, encourage me uh, to make more uh, videos reaching more people, okay? So let's say you're on a psych medication or two or more um, and wanting to clean them up and maybe come off some of them or all of them. Now, I always recommend you talk to your doctor first, the prescriber who is responsible for giving you those medications. You need to have that uh, discussion with them first, okay? But they sometimes, you know, maybe they're not a specialist, they may not know how to do it very well. So I'm a psychiatrist, I help people with medications, uh, starting medications often, but also stopping medications. So I deal with this stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, so let's say you're starting a medicine first, okay. A lot of times starting a medication, be it a depression medication or anxiety medication or mood stabilizer or whatever, it needs to be done gradually, okay? Because if you start a medication too fast, you can run into problems, side effects, you can flare the symptoms, things can get worse. The same thing can happen if you stop a medicine too fast. This phenomenon is also seen with like blood pressure medications, different things, seizure medications. So if you stop things too fast, the problem can flare and, and we call it a rebound and it can cause a lot of problems. So. A lot of times I see people who, let's say they run out of, med run out, run out of a medication or they decide they want to stop it because they don't like it or they don't think it's doing a whole lot. So they stop it cold turkey and they may coast for a little while, like Wiley Coyote going off the cliff, you know, but then something happens, you know, and then things get bad and, you know, they restart it and then it's a roller coaster and then they come see me and like, oh, doctor, oh, well, I ran into this problem. Um, came on and off my medication. So, okay, how, how can we do this a little bit safer? Okay, first, talk to your doctor. Don't start or stop medications without, you know, your doctor's advice, number one. That's always a caveat here. Now, let's say um, a doctor is um, prescribing a new medication, number one, gradually, and that's especially important for kids, young adults, up to the age of 25 or so, and older adults, so 65 and older, you, know, you guys are just more sensitive to starting and stopping medications, okay? So it needs to be done more slowly. Now, if let's say a person is on a medication like Zoloft per se, Zoloft is one that's been out there for a while for anxiety and depression. Let's say, okay, you're having some side effects, sexual side effects or upset stomach or something like that, or you wanna try coming off it on your own, okay? Depends how long you've been on it, okay? So if you've been on it just like two weeks and you don't feel like it's doing anything, number one, that's an incomplete trial. So if you haven't been on it long enough to really see if it's gonna work and it probably hasn't been titrated. So talk to your doctor and say, okay, if this stuff it just doesn't seem to be working right, okay, you know, may need further adjustment. Now, if you're wanting to stop a medication or your doctor is saying, okay, we need to come off this medication, Let's say you're on Zoloft for 10 years. Now that, your brain is very used to that medication being in your system. So that really needs to be done gradually. How gradual is gradually? Well, usually we try to go by about one quarter to one half of the total daily dose every two weeks or more. So for example, let's say a person's on Zoloft, 100 milligrams, they would maybe go down to 75 milligrams for two weeks and then 50 milligrams for two weeks and then have an even slower process completely coming off of it. So like 25 milligrams for like a month and then stop it. And during that time, you know, the person really needs to follow up with their prescriber, whoever is monitoring the medication to make sure things aren't going south. Okay. As far as getting worse, all right? Because during that downturn, you run into trouble. What do you do? Okay. You want to maybe, reverse direction. Some people can have withdrawals on psych meds, like physical withdrawals, especially the benzos like Xanax and the Klonopin and stuff like that. The withdrawals can be dangerous off of those medications. And so that is a whole other ball game. You know, it can be life-threatening, the withdrawals from those. 
um, if somebody's on usually a higher dose of those. So that definitely needs to be managed by a physician. I mean, all this needs to be managed by a prescriber, okay? Um, but my main point, take home point on all this is things need to be done gradually, okay? Starting and stopping medications needs to be done gradually so your brain and body can get used to it, okay? So keep that in mind, go slow. If you have questions, call your prescriber and let them know what you're doing. I think the vast majority of physicians and nurse practitioners and PAs and stuff really want to help and they're willing to work with you. So talk to them, you know, they're in your corner, you know, they want to help, you know, their name is on the bottle after all, you know, it's their responsibility to help you with that. So talk to them and have that conversation, okay? All right, wish you guys the best of luck. Have a good one, stay warm, and we'll talk later.